welcome to episode one of My Favorite Things. The piece you just heard was Slumber Song by Robert Schumann. Today, I'd like to share with you some information about this wonderful composer. Robert Schumann lived from 1810 to 1856. He was a German composer, pianist, and influential music critic. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest composers of the Romantic era. Schumann left the study of law, intending to pursue a career as a virtuoso pianist. His teacher, Frederick Wieck, a German pianist, had assured him that he could become the finest pianist in Europe. But unfortunately, a hand injury ended this dream. Schumann then focused his musical energies on composing. In 1840, after a long and acrimonious legal battle with Wieck, Schumann ended up marrying Wieck's daughter, Clara. A lifelong partnership in music began as Clara herself was an established pianist and music prodigy. Clara and Robert also maintained a close relationship with German composer Johannes Brahms. Until 1840, Schumann wrote exclusively for the piano. Later, he composed piano and orchestral works and many leader songs for voice and piano. He composed four symphonies, one opera, and other orchestral, choral, and chamber works. His best known works include Carnival, Symphonic Studies, Kindersetzen, Kreisleriana, and The Fantasy in C. Schumann suffered from a mental disorder that first manifested in 1833 as a severe melancholic depressive episode, which recurred several times alternating with phases of exultation and increasingly also delusional ideas of being poisoned or threatened with metallic items. What is now thought to have been a combination of bipolar disorder and perhaps mercury poisoning led to manic and depressive periods in Schumann's compositional productivity. After a suicide attempt in 1854, Schumann was admitted at his own request to a mental asylum in Enderich near Bonn. Diagnosed with psychotic melancholia, he died of pneumonia two years later at the age of 46 without recovering from his mental illness. Although Schumann had a somewhat tragic life, his music is glorious and can lift me out of the darkest mood. A few of my favorite compositions of his are the Piano Concerto in A minor, the Piano Quintet in E flat, and his violin sonata in A minor. I'd like to play a short famous piece of his called Tremorai, meaning reverie. Before I do though, I'd like to encourage you to remember your favorite pieces or songs, whatever genre they may be in, and listen either online or with CDs and let the music carry you away. Thanks for joining me and enjoy Tremorai by Robert Schumann. 